who are like, what are you, what, what's this? Oh, no, check out the real song done by Naturally Seven. Here's the link. And they're like, whoa, you know, so wow. That, that's all I can say. We what, were made you, what made you guys choose, what, what made you choose that one? Uh, Cedric. Cedric. <laughs> <laughs> Cedric, <laughs> guilty as charged. Well, yeah. that question to you, Cedric, what made you, because you, you, you got that, you have that project, right? Yeah, I do. So what made you choose that one? Um, yeah, so um, um, so like I was telling the fellas a, while, uh, a couple of days ago, so um, um, one day I was listening to the, to the Christmas Experience album. Like I listened to every single song. And um, out of all the songs, that, that particular song stood out to me the most. And I said, we got to do this. We got to do this one day. We got to do it. So, and that's like the more I listened to it, the more it grew on me. So, and some, some, some in me just, hey, I just said, we got to do this. So, hey, we did it. I'll admit, man, it was hard to sell me that song. I was like. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I was like. Bro, are we are we not trying to bite more than we can chew here? You know, this is going to be a lot of work. And uh, you know, after a couple of days of uh, discussing the song back and forth, and listening to it over and over again, it grew on me. And obviously, I have confidence in these two guys that okay, I know what they can do. So it probably can be done as long as we just put in the work. You know. But I, I'm one of those who thought this is going to be really difficult, you know, <laughs> but but we pulled it off and we're really honored that you even shared it on your page. Um, yeah. Roger, you know, yeah. that was, yeah. we didn't even expect that, you know, yeah, no. didn't expect that kind of shout out. So we I was anticipating, I was waiting for uh, like back, uh, backlash, like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Leave a song alone. You know, or... No, 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 no. <laughs> What are you trying to do? Yeah. <laughs> if I if yeah if I if I if I like it if I think you've done a good job it's uh, it's 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 a compliment man it's a compliment yeah. that um, that piece was arranged by uh, James Rose yeah I'm and the but the concept of it just the concept of doing it I was thinking for the longest time like how can we do a choral piece and still be vocal play heavy, right? right? right. How, can we, how right. can we bring those two worlds together? So um, I, heard, uh, I heard Coldplay do, um, Chris Martin did a, a, shoot, what's that thing called? I think it's called Midnight. Okay. And it's like electronic. He does like electronic, it's all harmony, but it's got this, it's got this, it's got this deep beat, but it starts off choral electronica type right. thing. And I, so I showed that to James, um, who actually, funny enough, is into electronic and stuff anyway. But I said, no, what I'm looking for is, I want it to be choral. I want it to be beautiful, but I want it to hit hard. Right, right. Right? And see, usually those two things. They don't mix well. They don't, they don't, all, exist. They don't, they don't regularly exist together, you know? It's yeah, oxymoronic. Right, you know, that's like, like having, you know, bless this house and, 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 and a, a, you know, a hard four to the floor beat, you know, at the same time. So <laughs> then um, what I found interesting that James taught me, and I started using it ever since. Uh, I forget actually what the musical term is, but I was really curious to how he could have these notes in the loop and yet we can do all this harmony that doesn't clash with the loops. I was reading with that. I was reading about that. I forget what it's called. I know exactly what you mean. And whether you come out of the loop, it'll still come into the song and come out of the loop and still go back into the song. Yeah. And it'll just maintain. That's that's genius. It's like a it's like a understanding that your ear has like. Uh, yes, yeah, it's very it's really hard to explain, but you can't just do it with you know you can't just do it with any old notes. It's it's, right. it's, a, it's a very specific, specific thing. Yeah. So um, I started. Which doing is actually why it made yeah. the song a bit more difficult because we actually redid some parts at some point. We're like, hey, <laughs> this is not sounding right. Some of these parts right, are right, not coming together. You know. Yeah, and it was Trey who was I may doing never, ever know. Uh, that, that, that's the, uh, the back end of it. 
Right. When exactly. the treat, when the, in the is it a four part yeah. command? And it's like uh uh. Right. Exactly. On this no. yeah, on this chord, it, it's not sitting right. So change okay. this note, move this note up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Down that much. <laughs> right. Right. Well, no. Hats off to you guys for uh, for going for that. You know, going for that. Oh man. There, there might be on that particular project. Shoot. Let me think. Do you see what I see? Oh yeah. That one is. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. one. <laughs> that one. That one is. Uh, that one. That one's a lot. Have y'all heard that? Mm. One? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Uh, bring bring me in. I'm I'm still I'm still I'm still looping in. I'm still getting in the Nat Seven and Seven um, world. Mm -hmm. So I'll I'll do more study on it. That's all right. That's all right. You know, we, we already talked Take about time. the dedication. Take we already time. talked about it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> more shots fired. You're not letting that one go. Shots <laughs> fired. Man. More shots fired. I'll take yeah. the hit. Yeah. So, um, Roger. Yeah. Is, is Hops coming back um, permanently or just for a short season or something? I don't know if, uh, you know, it's, it's, everything is up to Hoss, but for, for right now, officially, he is, uh, he is uh, the, I guess the interim right. is the w proper word to, to, to wow. use. Uh, uh, and just like he really did when he was in the group, he, yeah. when we changed bases, um, you know, we have like a, a specific contraction. We have a specific amount of time that you need to give us to get, to find the, the, the next, you know, the next thing. And he went way beyond that, you know, way beyond that because his, his, his uh, thing was until you find the right singer, until you right. find that right person and I'll, I'll train that person. So he's very much, uh, the same right now where, where he was, yeah. you know, where, you know, till you find that right person. So we're, we're not usually if we have to, if we lose a, a, a member, we're under tremendous pressure. Yeah. This is the least amount of pressure we have ever had. Right. Um, and obviously a portion of that is because of uh, COVID. And the other portion of that is because of hops. Because the because Hops has been able to say, look, look, Roger, I got y'all covered. Whatever mm -hmm. you're doing, I got you covered. Oh, if we if we if we go out on the road and we're gonna do some stuff, yep, I'm there. That's Recording, right. I'm there. Um, you know, whatever you guys doing, just you know, let me know. And right. so, right. that's taking the pressure off as we look for who is going to be the right uh, person uh, to take that spot. Because Hops' main concern, and it was it was five years ago when he uh, retired from the group. And that was, we're on the road so much. Yeah. Right. We're on the road so much. So he's, he's kind of like a, he's kind of like a homebody. Mm -hmm. He's old. He's always wanted to know, man, is there no way for us to do this from our houses? <laughs> 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 so this is, this is, this is kind of like the perfect world for him in, in reference right. to that. Exactly. You know, exactly. and uh, you know, we don't know what's in store for 2021, but there is no way we're going to be doing 100 shows in 2021. You yeah, know, so probably not. Uh, no. So we 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 we'll see. We'll we'll see. And um, and you're probably not going to travel either, right? No, I mean that's what it, that's 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 it, for the foreseeable future. We don't see um, we don't see traveling. The, the next time we try to do um, a virtual concert, we are gonna, if it's safe, we are gonna try to see if we can get the seven of us together, get a theater or, or location okay. and stream, show. stream the show. Okay. That's what we're gonna try to do uh, the next time, probably March, April-ish. Okay, okay. Assuming, okay. The, assuming the world is still Still the same. Still the same. Still, you know, yeah. It probably. I will. have a question for you. Um, probably. Will. <laughs> how do you how do you keep a group intact with um, seven characters, seven, um, seven characteristics? Mm. Man, I mean, what keeps you guys gelling? What 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 is your core? 
it's uh this is this 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 I could write a book on now. Uh-huh. I mean, is uh, after doing this for uh, this long. Um, first of all, you said some you said some key things. Dedication, making sure that you have. It was a blessing when the opportunity came across our table that we could go out and do this full time. It was a blessing to even have six other people in the same room with me that I could go, all right, check this out. We yeah. just did this thing. We just got 60 calls back. We got 60 gigs over the course of like two and a half months. Wow. How are we gonna do this and do our jobs? The answer is that we cannot. So minimally, you gotta take a leave of absence mm-hmm. or you gotta quit. Right. Or we just ain't gonna be able to do this. Which one is it gonna be? And when you, when we had, you know, when I had six guys come back to me and say, "All right, this is it. Then let's 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 do it. Let's do it." Wow. Um, because I have been around other types of guys in my life, I I knew that that was uh, that was precious, you know. But what I would say in terms of keeping it together, it's important that you let. Uh, everybody uh, constantly uh, give their ideas to to the because it belongs to everybody. Even if wow. you're even if you're even if you're a leader or you're the arranger or whatever, for you to go up on the stage and for you to do your thing, this thing belongs to everybody, and everybody needs to have a say. Yeah. Uh, it's important for everybody to be able to. Uh, have their, have their own personalities in, in the group. And one thing that's really, really important is to know, have a tap on what everybody's thinking. Mm. So many times people are leading groups and they have no idea what people are thinking and what people want because they just don't communicate enough. It's, it's no different than a marriage when people are like, yeah, well, we, we stopped communicating and we started growing apart. The only way for you not to grow apart is you have to constantly be communicating. Even during this, this year, via Zoom, communicate, you know, communicate. Yeah, right. what, are we, what are we all thinking about? What do we, uh, you know, when decisions are made, what do you think about that decision? Um, should we, okay, okay, no, we're not in agreement with that. Uh, you know, try to, try to let democracy reign also. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So it kind of comes down to to leadership as well. If you have good leadership that is consistent and understands um, how to tap into those different personalities and use them for the good, then the group will probably stay together. Because imagine if you were a bit of an autocratic leader, you would be like, "Well, it's my way or the highway," and the group will always keep fracturing. <laughs> having new members every couple of months, you know? That can work if those if those people's personalities allow it. Allow that, yes. Yes, if those that, people's personalities right. allow it. There are groups that work like that. Because <clears throat> uh, people, you know, people t- a- ask me those type of questions in master classes all the time. Like, can, yes, it can if, because there are some people, people that do not want to lead. They, they absolutely want to, Tell me where to go. Tell me what time. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm here to follow. Yes. But if you have strong personalities, which is often necessary if you want to get strong things done, right? Yeah. Um, then yeah, you're correct. It, it, it cannot. It's not going to work from a dictatorship. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not. It yeah. definitely it wouldn't not. work. Yeah. Yeah. So it comes down to but from an outside person, yeah. When you're looking at take six, uh, uh, well, take six, uh, naturally seven, the, the 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 level of trust they they all show when you're leading, um, Roger. Because I mean, from from the years and years that I've been watching, whether on the stage, it there is this level of trust that is shown by yeah. all the group members. You know what I mean? Like with you leading, and I'm always like wondering with all the powerhouses that you have in the group. And everybody able to belt their part, like belt it so perfectly, mm-hmm. and still stay humble, and trusting and following too, is is just um, 
uh, something that's hard to come by. It's a blessing, and even from even from the you know from the leadership side, you can't ever let you can't ever let your ego um, get to the point where, you know what, I don't you know I I don't need you guys, I I I, I create this thing again, I just do it again. <laughs> See, so many people don't so many people don't understand yeah. what they have until they don't have it. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, have, you know that's just a that's just a human thing. So I try not to live like that. I try to like, man, you know, when I'm listening to somebody like uh, Dwight's voice, I don't I don't just. Of course, I've been listening to his voice for you know last 25 years. So there's there are portions and things I take for granted. But every now and then, I just stop and go, wow, listen to this dude's voice. Right. Listen to that thing. You know, you got to do that. With, yeah. in, in any job you have that you love, you got to just stop and say, man, I get to do this or I, I have the ability to do this. You got to just take time to, you know, to smell the roses. And I, and I do that with the, with, the, with the group members that are in place. I mean, Sean is the last member that has, you know, that has joined, what, two years now. It's about going on three, I suppose. In April, it'll be going on three. Um, and uh, Cedric, you was uh, you 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 saw the show last night. I don't know if the other rest of you saw the show last night. No, I didn't. I didn't check it out, but I I saw a screenshot of the show. But if you so, so I say this to Cedric, do you notice that you you notice that Sean is like, if it's if it's if it's an R and B style, I got it. Yeah, I'm killing it. If yeah. it's reggae, I got it. I'm hey. killing it. Yep. Sam Cook gospel, got it. I'm killing it, right? It's like I stop and go, man, man, God is good, man. Because I can't know, none of us can know all this when we are auditioning. So we can't. There's no way I can know all these different flavors that right. you know of, especially even with the vocal play. Mm -hmm. People, people always ask like, yo, am I, am I able going? Am I? Am I gonna be able to do the harmonica thing? That was his question. Like, am I gonna be able to do the harmonica thing? Oh, and I was like, that might not be your thing. I mean, just tell you straight yeah. out. That yeah. might not, I'm not even gonna force you to take over Garfield's harmonica because right. that may not be your thing. Right. Real and talk. Uh, he 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 made that work. Hey. He didn't he didn't know that he didn't he didn't know he could, but he made it work. And I, I realized that if people are if they're willing to work hard, you got a musical ear, and uh, you're willing to put your uh, inhibitions aside, who knows what you could do? Right, right. You know, so, I, 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 so I say all that to say I'm a. I still stay. I still uh, stay amazed at the group, even though I'm inside the group. Wow. Right? Uh, Ricky's what Ricky's able to sing up high is. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, "A Child Is Born." Yeah, I love that. From, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you hear Cedric? You hear the notes he's singing in that thing? Uh, yeah. I thought I was never gonna hear that from a man again since Jamal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, nah, man. Jamal, yeah, Jamal used to call, every, call, oh, Jamal right. got up Jam like, like, like. Mariah Carey. Yes, he got yeah. into the Mariah notes. So I yeah. said, "All right, we ain't never." I told the group, "We ain't never gonna see that again." Wow. Yeah, we ain't never. So just kiss that goodbye. He's like, "That's like one in, you know, one in a thousand really? people on planet Earth." You know, what's the chance mm -hmm. of so? But Ricky, his range mm -hmm. every year gets better and better. Gets, gets yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's a love of music right there. That's, that yeah. shows. So Rod used to be the first tenor, and we just yeah. put we put Ricky above him, and so Rod is now able to sing second. Uh, Sean is a natural first tenor himself, so we've got a, the top three guys They're locked, in the room. locked, locked, mm. ready to do their thing. So and those are some of the hardest parts to feel, man. You know. Yes. Well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's not. It's not natural for men to be singing up there. Right, no, it's not. Right, no, it's not. exactly, <laughs> exactly. But yet again, it's the best sound. No, no offense to all the ladies out there. When it comes to that men male soprano, 
in a male group. Oh man, it's if butter. they've got it. Yeah, if they've got if it. They... <laughs> right, right. Point of clarification. Yeah. If they got it. If they've got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, because yes. you know, every now and then I've heard it where I go, okay, you might have wanted a woman to do that. <laughs> but if a false set no, fal a false falsetto. Yeah. False. <laughs> a false false double set. negative. <laughs> double negative. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Well, have you guys got you guys got any other questions for me? Um, I'm here. Man. You said I'm here. You'll never get us again. Yeah. <laughs> All yours. <laughs> yeah, Roger, man. Cedric, what you got? Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, Sad, you're way too quiet, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Roger, um, um, what's the question? <clears throat> When y'all gonna play in Georgia again? I know because of all, all the pandemic, but when it all blows over. Or yeah, I mean, the, probably we'll end up doing this uh, this uh, streaming thing with, I'm talking about. We we'll probably end up doing that in Georgia, only because three of us three of us are already here, uh, so it's easier to bring the other bring the other five here. Yeah, uh, I say that including including engineer. It's easy just to bring them here, so I don't know where that's gonna be, but. You're the, I guess the key thing you said when things get normal, when we can actually have, uh, you know, a uh, uh, real audience, that probably would have happened sometime this year. I mean, in 2020, would we probably were going because we were going to do uh, some uh, some uh, Amer uh, an American tour sometime in the around the September time. So I don't know. I don't know, man. We really don't know when life is gonna return. Yeah. 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 No one knows. No one knows. But God. You know? Yeah. You know, and, and as you can see, it brings it brings uh you know blessings and, and, and curses too. So like you said, I probably although I'm off I've I've actually never been on the road um Christmas time, you know, from um from like Christmas to New Year's, I think we've only had one New uh, New Year's Eve thing we had to do, or maybe once or twice in our twenty year career. We've only done that like once or twice. Usually, usually we're at home. But, okay. but, but you probably wouldn't have you probably wouldn't have asked me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that because everything's we you know we're doing um, you know Zoom and everything is so prevalent now. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know now now it just seems a, a lot easier to get to catch everybody. Right. Mm. Okay. Roger. How does your family? Um, okay, go ahead, Tom. Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, can you speak to the impact of um, your collaboration with uh, Michael Bublé as far as giving momentum to the group? Um, in whatever momentum gains, you know, just from that collaboration alone and how long it went on for. Michael Buble went on for eight years. Oh my God. Yeah, from 2007 to 2014. And we did three world tours with him. Wow. It is uh, absolutely unnatural for, uh, for usually when you have a superstar and who if you if you sometimes you don't even they don't even land somebody that's gonna that's going to tour with them and open everywhere they go they're gonna have different people in different <laughs> countries um or especially different continents they're like okay for europe it's gonna be this this, this group uh it's gonna be this artist uh, in australia it's gonna be this one in north you know that type of thing right um Luckily, he fell in love with us from the moment we, we were supposed to just do one leg with him in Europe. And he would come out every night we performed. Wow. 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 He would of come course, out every night. You know, that's, that's again, that's unheard of because that's, that's the time you're getting ready. You know, he's putting his tux on, whatever. He'd right. come out, baseball cap on, hiding um, to, to watch us sing um, Simon and Garfunkel. Wow, that was the friend. Yes, yeah, yeah. Watch us sing that 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 medley, and uh, whatever else we were doing at the time, um, and we didn't have lights, 
it's funny because when when you open in a show and and they and and they're not really planning for you. We didn't have um, we we didn't have any spotlights. We didn't have so the audience really got their f- feeling of like these are the underdogs, you know, mm. uh, and we weren't sure that we were even going to be able to survive on that tour. We really went out there on a uh, on a on a prayer. Not only are you not supposed to get paid when you when you're um, when you're uh, an opening act, sometimes record companies you have to pay you have to pay the artist just to be on the you know be on the exposure mm-hmm. for the exposure the wow. exposure they say so. Uh, but we sold so much merch in that time. Those, oh wow, wow! We sold so much merch in that time. Um, and that was the beginning. And then as we continue to tour with him, yeah, everybody around him, including Michael himself, was like, "Give them, uh, uh, give them, give them, give them the lights." Okay, put yeah. put them on the video. Lights on, yeah. Put them there, you know, whatever. So yeah. now we're doing a North American tour too. Okay, now we're going to Australia, South Africa. We we uh, Asia. I mean, we just went went everywhere. And then when it came for him to do it again. He was like, yeah, I want, I want my boys naturally seven to do it again. And we, we had recorded on his album too. Yeah. yeah. So it made a lot of sense to, um, to, to have us again, but to answer your question, we owe, uh, a lot of the exposure we got. We did 400 shows, (laughs) 400 shows we did with Buble. Right? That's insane, brother. It is. Wow. And think about this: four hundred shows. The average show we were doing was fifteen thousand people. Oh. <laughs> you know, some shows wow. got twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand. Right. We did. We did a couple of stadiums. We did Dublin with forty-five thousand a night. <laughs> right. So. Wow. That is success, man. That is success. When you consider what effect that has had. Right. Um, it has allowed us to be able to go to all sorts of countries where we're able to uh, fill a room by ourselves. And uh, because a lot of people say, yeah, I, first time I saw you was with Buble. You know, we've had a couple of things like that. We did the, uh, the tour with the, the Night of the Proms tour we did with a hundred piece orchestra. That mm. was also a big tour. And a lot of people were introduced to us through that. People have been introduced to us through Quincy. Yes. as we uh, were part of that. Right. And those things are everlasting, right? Those things are everlasting where people will go, oh yeah, I was introduced to you. But to answer your question, I think the, the full portion of your question, I think that whatever we do, whatever we do, which we, we, we still hope going into the future that we, that we still have things that are even bigger exposure for us. Right. There's gonna be so many people that go, I know Natri Seven. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know what I mean? They're gonna be like, "Oh man, oh man, that's that's oh that's 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 the dudes from the Cheerios commercial, or that's the ones I saw on the YouTube uh, right, train." Right, right. Um, oh, I saw them with Buble, but I forgot what the exactly. you know. It's that's 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 what that does. There's no way for us to perform for, um, uh, you know, thirty to forty-five minutes. Uh, every night and you can't remember who we were right exactly i got you you know the way that the way that that was marketed uh Mm -hmm. was really really nice because we were so different from him he's got a big band you know right right and we're we're these seven guys walking out on the stage a cappella guys um, yeah you know different thing altogether yeah yeah but another thing i'll tell you about that is interesting is yeah when you come across things that you realize that you've never seen anybody do it before, like the first time we were getting ready to sing in, a, in an arena, it hit me, is this gonna work? Are our voices gonna be able to fill up an entire arena? Mm-hmm. Because I realized I didn't, have any, I didn't have anything to pull from. Right. I had never seen a vocal group fill an arena. Mm-hmm. So you, you 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 get scared for a second that yeah I oh my goodness imagine. is this gonna work yeah is it, is it you know and then later on you realize that 
Shoot, man, as long as as long as there's sound, as long as the speakers are, are pumping and working, right? You, you know, can pull up the, sound. Uh, the biggest thing we've done was uh well, first it was it was in it was in Canada for uh uh for like 80,000 people. Wow. And as far back as you could see people, you're like Oh my goodness. I think that was back in the day when we would open up the show with Fly Baby, wow. right? And uh, um, and uh, I think Jamal would come out, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. You know? and you're like, is everybody hearing this? Yeah. Oh, boy, 80,000 people are hearing this, you know? Yeah, they all hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so it, it, it's fun. Then since then we did the, uh, um, uh, short. what's the, uh, uh, oh my goodness, what's the, the um, Motor racing, um, Indianapolis. Oh, okay. Oh, are you serious? Um, like NASCAR? No, uh, no, 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 not NASCAR. Uh, the, what you call it? NASCAR is right here in North Carolina. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other one, the other one. Oh my yeah, goodness. The other one, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I can't remember it. The well, speedway? Is that speedway? No. No, uh, that'll be like the 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 Formula One cars and stuff. Yeah, like that? yeah, 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 yeah. All right. We did that. Grand Prix? Yeah, 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 yeah. We mm -hmm. did that where somebody made a stage for us. You can see it on YouTube. They made a stage on a truck. So it was gonna be a moving stage. Uh -huh. And no way. these 500,000 people were all gonna be able to hear us all at once. Wow. But but the, 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 the stage was moving so people could get a chance to see us. That's because insane. In one place, you're not going to be able to see us on the track. So it's moving around oh the track. Oh, and wow. We were like, we sang in the air tonight to start. And the, uh, the people loved it, man. It was, it was. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to have those experiences, man. It really is. Yeah, that is crazy. I, see, I can see that. Where we came up with that. That's, that's never been done. Concert on wheels. Concert on yeah. Wheels, yeah. Oh. Again, you can see it on uh, you can see it on YouTube. Because yeah, uh, we, I think uh, we got some good shots of it um, going around. Uh, but those are the things that you get to do that are just completely, you know, you know completely different. Right. Uh, that you just never forget about. You know, we performed. We we were so far north one time that it never became it was never became daylight. Wow. 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 <laughs> right, right, right. That's enough to blow your mind and go yeah. crazy. Right, right, right. Yeah. Is there, is there any place that you feel you must go to before the end of your career, before you retire, that you haven't been to? Well, let me tell you something. In Africa, it's really a shame that we have only been to South, South Africa. Yeah. Right. I mean, we've talked about that before. Yeah. What's well, to think about the the uh, and of course, the world is so much smaller than it was even a few years ago where I could see I can see, uh, you know, all the love that we get from from, from the continent. Yeah. And we've just we've never been there. We've just right. never been uh, to, to many of those countries. Right. So um, and the same thing with the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, just for, you know, just because of the financial obstacles of what it takes to, you know, to promote a show and get a group like Naturally 7 to come there, yeah. you yeah. know, we've just not been there, which is, uh, which has been a shame. So I hope that that will, um, that, that we will be able to go to several countries uh, okay. in Africa and the Caribbean. Right. Yeah, and dudes in Africa, man, they, they know your music a lot, bro, a lot. You know, if I were to post a picture of myself with Naturally 7 on Facebook, the number of friend requests I would have right after that, it'd be like, dude, how do you know these guys, you know? So a lot of those guys were guys in Africa, you know? And they will be like, I just, you know, just flabbergasted. Like, how, do you, how can you be that close to somebody that we look up to like that, you know? Uh, it's beautiful. Lot, lot, there's a lot of fans over there, man. There's a lot of people out there who just know all your music, you know. And there's a so lot the of there's a lot of new groups doing doing 
doing a lot of good music. Yeah, there, there is. Yeah, there you is. have inspired. The funny part is when you get a when you get a a, a video share, somebody like, have you ever heard this guys? I'm like, yeah, you're like 25 years late, but yeah, you know, <laughs> do tell. <laughs> Go ahead and share. They're just like blown away. Um, yeah. Naturally, seven. I mean, my question. I had I have multiple questions, but um, I'll start off with um, your arrangement um, style. What birthed that? What 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 idea? What ideas flow through? Because you still have the signature chord progression that I hear from from Naturally Seven. Uh, it's unmistakable. Um, even though it may be six, seven parts, sometimes eight. I hear. Um, what? How do you come up with that? You know, I probably, I don't know if I've, uh, I don't know if I've, I've, I've actually uh, said this publicly before, but let me say it like this. When the group that we had uh, before Naturally 7 was called Last Appeal, and in New York City, we're from New York, and we were, uh, we were at a Christian bookstore, and we were singing Amazing Grace. And uh, the Christian bookstore owner saw Stevie Wonder in the store. And he was like, okay, you got to hear this. So he brought Stevie Wonder. He's like, guys, sing it again. Sing it again. Would y'all just did do that again? And we sang a song for him. Uh -huh. And that when, we, when we done hit the last note, Stevie said, I know who your favorite group is. I know who your favorite <laughs> group is. Uh oh. And honestly, uh oh, uh, Trey, that was the beginning. Okay. Of. Oh, it was man. a compliment. Right. Inside right. of something that was not a compliment. I know. I got you. You know. So I went home going. Wow. Wow. Who are? Oh wow. We? We love doing what we do, but who are we? Because that was the only thing you had to say after we finished singing that song. Wow. Tight harmonies and all, mm -hmm. you know, so asking that question, this, and I tell groups now to ask that question of themselves all the time. In the craze of, uh, of boy bands during the 90s with Boys to Men, uh, Joe to see and all these type of groups. Too many of the groups started were were just carbon copies of other groups, mm -hmm. right? Right. Boys to Men rose up and Joe to see rose up because even though they shared things, you're two different entities, mm -hmm. right? So even as I'm 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 I'm, I'm uh, friends with Take Six today, they're able to look at us just as we're able to look at them, although, you know, they, 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 they precede us. So that's why I say that we, we owe, you know, everything to, to, to them, but they're able to see distinctly, naturally seven does this, not right? True. right? And that came, that, that came from us going, you know what? We're New Yorkers. What, what do, what, you know, and me looking at myself and saying, what, what do I really like here? What, what, what else do I like? And I loved hip hop. Mm -hmm. Gospel was a given, that's where I'm from, right? right. That's, the, that's, that's what I'm gonna share. That's what we're gonna share with uh, Take Six, that we're from not only uh, the, the gospel background, we're from, you know, have our roots in the same denomination and everything, yeah. but I'm from New York. I'm from the Northeast. I'm, 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 you know, so let's, 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 let's get into some other things. And I was influenced by, at the very top of Natural 7, um, John Neal from Harmony Sweepstakes. Um, he introduced me to a group called uh, uh, Vox One. And I, I list. I, I, I remember I put the thing on, and I was like, "Is that it?" It was. It was all jazz. I mean, it was hardcore jazz, but they were imitating instruments. Yeah. At least 
not to the extent that you see with Naturally Seven today, but they were doing it with the guitar, right. and they were doing it with the 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 way they approached the bass. Now think about it: the way that I've heard the bass, Vinny was was our was our world. I was like, wow, that's that's just how bass is done. There's <laughs> just no other way to do bass. So yeah, I was right. hearing this. I was hearing this dude do bass a different way, and I was like, what in the world? Mm -hmm. is, what is this? Synthetics, yeah. And then I, then next thing I heard was the real group. Yeah. And yeah. it was an album called Commonly Unique. And here's another very, very important story to the Naturally Seven Roots. And that is, I'm riding in the car with my with my wife and my mother-in-law, and we're getting ready to drive a you know a good distance, and and. I've got this real group thing playing, mm -hmm. which was the album Commonly Unique. Yeah. And they said, Roger, please do not bore us with your <laughs> acapella stuff today. Right. I get that all the time, man. Please do not bore us on this entire trip with your acapella stuff. I mean, we'll it's listen to you know, a couple of songs, but please do not bore us with this, right? <laughs> then check this out. Then they were like, the thing that you're playing right now. You can let that play. That's good. Uh -oh. Uh oh. And then I realized they didn't know it was acapella. Right. Ooh. Right. Exactly. Ding, ding, ding. Boy, did the light bulb go off when I realized that they did not know it was acapella. They didn't realize it was acapella, right? I said, you know what we're about to do? We're about to take this R&B, hip hop, uh, jazz, funk. We're about to do this. In, in all the areas that I know best. Right. Mm. That's where we're going to go with this. I, I want somebody else to be sitting in, in, a, in a car one day and say, oh, I like this Naturally 7 stuff because it's not acapella. <laughs> 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 right. I want that, right? And, it, and, and it's funny, um, Roger, you say that because there's this group called Acapella Company. I remember I used to adore the vocal harmonies only and frowned whenever they tried vocal right. play. Now we call it, you know what I mean? Didn't know what, the, you know, it had a beatbox in it. And I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> Let's just stick to the harmonies. So it's funny that you mentioned that. So how you embodied, how you brought it out the way you guys did to where, like I said, when I go back to the initial time when I heard you guys sing, I, I rejected what I was hearing. I was in denial. I'm there, I'm listening. I'm like, yeah, I hear you, but there has to be uh, something else going on there. Um, Trey, that's, you know what, what you're saying right now? I'm going to acknowledge it. That's the dream. What you're saying was our dream. That was the intent. Can we take this thing so far yeah. that people would say, I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it, but I got to hear more. Right? That's the, that, 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 that became the dream because when I go back to my experience with Take Six, every show that I went to, it's, it was unbelievable to me. Right, right. When people were ready to go, I was like, how could you be ready to leave? <laughs> they, they, they could do this three more times. I'll, right. I'm not you going anywhere till they stop singing because it's right. just so unbelievable. Right. And I realized that, okay, if we could, if, if Warren was always doing, Warren was always doing drums. He was, oh, he's always been doing that since we were kids. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but he came from a, he came from the beatbox mentality that, that was the hot thing in the eighties. It's just that later on, he decided that now nah, I'm gonna make my, you know, make it more like a drum set. Wow. And as you can see over the years, we, literally said all right well if you if you if you're going to be a drum set then actually you're going to be the only one sitting down with actually look you're going to sit down and, and, no, and play drums no. and yeah. we're going to create a, a, a riser for you that here's <laughs> where the drums are and then once we got that down we're like okay let's do the same thing with the bass right. let's do that's, the same thing with the other auxiliary instruments which by the way uh, trey answers another question you just asked which is when i'm thinking of a vocal play arrangement i'm thinking how can, when people ask, well, why do we need seven? It's why we need seven. Because if you have a lead vocal, then I only got six left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bass, 
got five left. Mm -hmm. Drums. Drums. Drum you got yeah. four left. Yeah. Your basic harmony for you to believe that that we're filling the space has to be minimally three parts for you yeah. to feel like, oh, we're filling the space. Yeah. You know, however nice you make those harmonies. But can we still have that at an auxiliary instrument? Whether that instrument is going to be a guitar, whether mm -hmm. it's going to be a trumpet, Harmonic whatever it's going to be, if we could do that, I said, bingo. The listener is going to go, I don't believe it because mm -hmm. I'm hearing the bass, I'm hearing drums, I'm hearing an auxiliary instrument, and I'm still hearing a lead and what would be keys or background vocals. And, that's and you're not starved. <laughs> you're not starving. No, that when you hear that, that means that you believe you believe like okay. And then once around 2007, 2008, somewhere around there, 2006, I think is when we first added the loop pedal. Mm. And that just now, now you've now you've really Take just up the notch. Next level. Yeah. Because if if we if we believe that there's something in the song that that can ride through the entire song, such as hi-hats or something like that, or, 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 or a, a looped part, even if it's a, a sound or anything, what it's gonna be. Yeah. That's what that's what that's what hip hop is. That's what music is. Right. And that frees Warren up, it frees Rod up, it frees, you know, and frees up a lot of things. things. Yeah. So now you've got technically sometimes eight, nine things going on. And you're totally fine that the spectrum is, is completely filled. You're not wanting for anything. And what that's allowed us to do is to actually sing. Uh, you know, so, sometimes people have asked, uh, somebody asked me one day, like, uh, why do you guys sing original songs? And don't, don't take this as uh, ego, you know, being an egotistical, but the answer is because we can. Because we can. The first time we try doing that, if you would notice that the audience turns off, I'm like, oh, can't wait till you're singing the song we know, then you would yeah. know that you can't, then you can't do that. But <laughs> we were so blessed to have some really, really strong writers in the group. Combine that with the fact that they don't believe that they're listening to the normal a cappella setup. Yeah, yeah. Then that's why when we open for Buble, these people would not know who the who are these seven guys walking out? Who are, who's what, what's this? Right, what's right. this? There was one there was one man in Australia that he told after the show he came to us. He he said to uh, us, "My girls, my my girls with me. They're gonna tell you, you know, let you know I'm not lying. I was angry when you guys walked out. That's what he told us. We were like, whoa. I was like, why were you angry? He said, I came here to hear Michael Buble." I didn't want to hear no hip hop, R&B, or rap. I didn't hear, want to hear nothing y'all were getting ready to do. He said, and then y'all started singing. He said, by the second song, he said, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna buy that CD. Wow. <laughs> and that was, that was something that we learned from back in our college days, uh, going back to 2001, 2002, where we would go, we'd go from college to college. We had 65 yeah. minutes. Yeah. And we were never uh, marketed as a, uh, a Christian group per se, um, but we would come on and sometimes it'd be like 20 people in a room. Sometimes it was 200 people in the room. But my goal through the arrangement and through the set was how can no one leave? Right. right. In fact, if you got 20 people at the time we start, we want to have 50 people by the time we end. I need some of you to actually go to, to your dorms, run back and say, yo, you got to check out this group, right? right. Yeah. Because right. college students, their attitude would always be, yeah, I'll check you out for one or two songs, but then I got to go, I got to go study. Our goal was, nah, nah, nah. Once, once you hear, you're not leaving. And we have to create the set like that. And, and Trey, also the arrangement has to be like that, where you constantly changing it up sometimes in a, in a in a set a person would not even heard naturally seven singer ooh to like 10 songs in mm. because we 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 we're, we're like 
constantly trying to change it up. If you if you heard us do a brass section, uh, you may not you may not hear another brass section for the, you know, till the end of the show or oh, yeah. never again. So right. it's because most people when they complain about, I'm not talking about acapella heads. Acapella right. heads, acapella fans, they love acapella. Anything you do that is good, they're gonna love it. But people yeah. that don't love it, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, who brutal. we. That's who we. We 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 uh, you know, we're proud of the fact that there's so many people that that <clears throat> that will come to our shows that they will not regularly go to to see uh, acapella, because they know that we we we're coming from a song standpoint. Like, check out the song. Now, our managers used to call it. The, they said, "Give them the circus." They used to call. It, we used to we used to almost be offended when they'd be like, "The what? The, give them the you know vocal plays like a circus." It's like a circus, y'all doing all this stuff, but I'll be like, all right, all right, all right, we accept it, we accept. Give that, but in the end, people are really going to be, it's really very important about the song. So I think about that a lot in an arrangement. Um, so if Dwight is singing a song like, for example, Say You Love Me, yep. you may love the arrangement and you may love everything we're doing, but there's a lot of people that they only hear Dwight. Right. Hmm. Our job is to get wow. in the arrangement. The job is to get out of the way. Wow! Right? Man. Wow. So, deep, man. so sometimes think about it. When you, when a sound man, if a sound man is doing his job, like if you go to a Broadway, you go to a Broadway play. If the sound man is doing his job, it means that you never thought about it. Wow! Right. Right. right? That's profound, right there. That's if, profound. If, 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 if you know, in church. A bass player, you know, an organ player. We this is just the church. The church attitude is, I'm showing off. I mean, we just have to admit that's just the that's just the church mentality. That check me out, check me out. But the moment that that bass player is going to play, let's say for Michael Bublé's band, let's say for anything that's pop or anything like that, he's got to disappear. Yeah. Advantage and how does he disappear? He's got to be that good that he that he he's in the pocket that you think you're wow. hearing. You think you're thinking you're hearing the album. You're thinking you're you know he's not even there. So I think about that with arrangements. That don't get me wrong. If you're into what Hops is doing when he's doing the bass, yeah, you're gonna love it. You're like, oh man, listen to what he's doing. If you're into that. It's there for you to be into it, but for the average person that just goes, the song starts, the song ends. Do I like the chorus? Do I like this message of the song? Do I, I try to do an arrangement that is just beautiful to that song. Just like a, a pianist that really accompanies that person more so than, oh, check out what I'm doing too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, don't get right. me wrong. There's a time for that. Right. Time and place. Right. There's a time and place. Say you love me. Not the time for that. You know what I mean? So that's, it's, 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 <clears throat> I have a lot of opinions, obviously, when it comes to uh, uh, arranging, after arranging this much stuff and, um, and, and, and you change your opinions over the years of things that you like. It's just, that's just how it is. You, you grow, sometimes you come back. Like even in the studio, um, when you guys did Bleak Midwinter, how many times did you stack the voices? Uh, we did left and right um, per part. Yeah. So, so, so. Uh, two parts. Just two, two, uh, yeah. you doubled it. Yeah, we yeah. doubled, yeah. doubled yeah. Okay, so there was a time. That's what we do now. There was the, we 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 you know we just double the part if we're in the studio. But there was a time when I triple that thing. Right, yeah. pan it, spread it. Shoot, not nonfiction. We quadrupled back then. Really? Wow. Sick. Even the bass is quadrupled back then. You yeah, I, I kind of noticed that. Yeah. I mean, you <clears throat> because because it really is. It's unnecessary. That's why I don't do it today. It's like, it's unnecessary. Um, I quadrupled it because one day I was having a conversation with uh, Glad. Yeah. Right? You guys know Glad, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, of course. I was speaking, uh, I was speaking to the, uh, to, to the, I was like, 
man, because I love their sound. I, I was like, man. We grew up on that, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So he, he was like, yeah, you, four of every part. I said, right. four? Four? And now looking back at that, <clears throat> our voices are way, way thicker than Glad's voices. So it might have made sense for him to have that four. And it, it gives you much more, you know, it gives it a big choral sound, that type of thing. But, you know, you change your mind as time goes about those type of things. And um, I remember there was a time when we did the, uh, Cedric probably knows this from the Both Sides Now album, a lot of that is, is not even doubled. A lot of that album is just like when you listen to Jerusalem. Yeah, Jerusalem. Yeah, uh, it's not even. It's not even. It's not even double. Uh, going home, not until we're doing the the, the big spots with choir. Uh -huh, we choir, we choir. yeah yeah. See, I started falling in love with that too. Where, why should I double or triple through this whole song? That's not. That's not what. That's not what it's what an orchestra sounds like. Uh -huh. Sometimes it's gonna sound small. Yeah. Sometimes yes. it's going to be mediocre and then sometimes it's going to be big, right? Yeah. Right. Um, that's what you got when you listen to Going Home. Sometimes you listen to single voices uh -huh. in harmony, still in yeah. harmony, but right. single voices. And then voice. when we yeah. go, oh, we want this to sound like normal Natri 7, we doubled it. But then we, when we wanted it to sound like it was huge, we tripled and quadrupled all, you know, all in that same song. So these are things you just learn. And as, as you as your taste changes of, oh, it's the, same, it's the same, Roger. same opinion I have about uh, tuning voices. Like, you know, sometimes just leave it. Yeah. Let it be, let it be natural. And then other times, no, 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 no. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta mm -hmm. tighten that up. Tighten, tighten that up. up. Tighten, yeah. it up. Yeah. tighten it up. <laughs> what, uh, what role do you play? <laughs> Roger, when it comes to the mixing and the mastering of um, your songs, um, you know, and what role do you play? Do you do you overly take part in doing it, or somebody else just takes charge of that, or do you have the final approval, or, or whatnot? The operative word that you just said there was overly, <laughs> <laughs> overly, right? Um, you mm -hmm. want to make sure you don't overly, but I'm. Um, I'm hands-on. I've, I've become um, less hands-on as I've gotten older yeah. and more trust. Trust is work, yeah. In the, in the, in the mixer um, that I'm working with, you know, I've been working with you for years and you know, you, you know what I want, you know, you know, what yeah. I, you know, you know where we're going with this. Um, uh -huh. But I used to be like Darren Russ would tell you, yeah. I used to be, he'd be like, Roger, can you back up from over my shoulder, please? Because, <laughs> uh, and some of that is just curiosity of, of what's going on. Like, I always want to see yeah. what's going on because I enjoyed the process. You right. know what I mean? I enjoyed right. the process. Like even in uh, even still to this day, I, I enjoy the process of, of what it takes to record a song from you know from beginning to end. So I would say I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty hands on. Oh, nice. Then I, I, it, it'll, you you will act as a producer at the same time because the vision is yours, and the sound engineer can really take that vision and spin it to where you hear something that you really did not hear in oh the third goodness. ear caller. Yeah. Oh my so goodness. You, you, what you just said is 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 the truest thing that an engineer could just they 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 could end up produced they're, they're the producer, mm -hmm. you know they're they're, they're the producer they they are they, um, they're going in a completely different direction, so yeah if you're the if you are the producer it's important for you for for that for you to see your vision come true, and at the same time leave space for things that you'd never thought of. Right. Right. It's a hard balance. But for right. the same time, like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I am. Oh. 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 I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Or if you feel like you're like on the, uh, you're on the fence about something. If I'm on the fence about something, I've got, let me live with it. All let right. me live with it for, the, for, 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 for 24 hours. Yeah. Let's and I, many times I've gone, 
oh, I like it now. Now I like it. Right. And then, of course, there's just as many times I've I've gone take it out. Take it out. <laughs> just take it out. <laughs> Yeah. That doesn't sound right. Make it stop. Make it stop. <laughs> right. Well, sometimes it may sound right, but then it changes your your sound. It, it takes it to a different course. Yeah. Yeah. But having that trust in um, uh, and, and 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 different songs are different amounts of uh, different amounts of hands on. Like some, if I don't if I don't really know, I don't really have I don't I don't really know where this song is going. I'm I'm putting it in your hands now. Right. Right. And I do that more. I do that more often now, uh, as I'm older now. Just like, okay, no, I'm good. Let me see what. Let me, let me see what, what you, you do. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. And, what did you think about the mix of uh, Awesome, our cover? Yeah. It's good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. Who 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 mixed it? Uh, one of our homeboys. Uh, he's back in Africa, actually. He's mixed the uh, three songs that we've done. So he's you can say up and coming sound engineer. And uh, we trust his work. From the first song we did, he did a good job, and we always went back to him. Uh, he's not like a notable name or anything, but uh, he definitely has a good ear. He has his own group as well, which is pretty good. Right, so, right, yeah, right. His name is Tanaka. Okay. Yeah. Let him know. Let him know um, that right he's, he's done. He's done a good job. He's done a good job. I, I, I um, obviously, when you uh, when you have something that exists already. And and you know, yeah. like, okay. You got a point of reference. Yeah, yeah. you got a point of reference. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I, good job. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, he just him and his group actually just did a cover of uh, uh, BYU Vocal Point song, uh, "Near to God." Uh, what's it called? "Near to God," right? Near to thee. Of, oh Near to thee. Yeah, exactly. They did a cover of that. It's spot on, man. I'll send you a. A yeah. YouTube link, so you can check it out. Yeah. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful hymn. Right, and they switched up languages in it, so it just gave it an extra angle of, wow, okay. Yeah, that's crazy. Nice. How does that's family? Nice. How does family though, um, Roger, at uh, at home? Because um, how many? How many of you guys are married? All of us. Uh, oh, no, okay. six, 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 six out six. of seven. Six out of six. How does family accept, like, because you guys are gone most of the time of the year. So what's the negotiation part? I mean, goodness gracious, because we talk about gelling our friends and getting along, the, 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 the chemistry, the, the characters. You also have family in the background who, who are really the, the, the foundation of really making it work because they can really make it or break it. Uh, so they're... Uh, you know, the integral part of the group um, in the background. Um, how 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 do you make it work with the family's approval? Because I, I call it approval at the end of the day. They're the bosses. It's well said. Well said to even use the term uh, approval. Uh, yeah. The three of you married? Yeah, I'm married. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We're married. Don't be afraid. Oh yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know the dynamics of a group. Look at it. <laughs> well, let me tell you it's something. A safe space, brothers. <laughs> safe space. <laughs> um, this 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 kind of puts it in perspective. When somebody joins this group, I say, uh, "I got to speak to your wife." Like, what? Right. Why, why, why you need to speak to your wife, man? Your, your wife is going to be in this group. Right yeah. on. You know, uh, not that not that we see each other's wives very often, uh, because we don't. Yeah. But you said the key thing. There, that 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 understanding has is, has to be there. So, um, yeah. you know, it's 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 important, especially when you're um, first joining our group, like. If you've never if you've never done it, <laughs> uh, being away for 150 days out of the year, wow, that's gonna be that's gonna be something different, right? That's gonna be something different. Um, so I'll start. I just I'll answer it with my home. Um, my wife is the, a fan of naturally so. 
Wow. That always helps. <sighs> Let me tell you, she not only is she a fan of Natural Seven, she's a she's a fan, she's a fan of 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 me. I'm talking about from from a musical standpoint. Right. And that's gonna go a long, long way um, for understanding. Like if you're a fireman or you're a detective or you're a surgeon and you're gonna get called at any minute now to do whatever, if your spouse doesn't have an understanding of what mm. you do, whoo, you're in trouble. You're yeah. in trouble. Because what are you gonna do when you're sitting at the Thanksgiving table talking about, oh my beep, my beep is going off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to run out. If she doesn't have an understanding that that was a possibility, wow. And and when you return back home, everything is still cool except for, oh, that's such a shame that you missed, you missed out on Thanksgiving, uh, you know. And you as the husband have to have that understanding. That what you know? What can I do to make up for that? You know, right. what can I do for the, that? It's it's a it's a constant back and you know back and forth with that. But it's important for that spouse to have an understanding. There are too many, um, there are too many, uh, I've seen women where they're, they're attracted to this man because they because he was in the group. So they get married. And the same thing that they were attracted to is breaking them up now. Right, right. exactly, yeah. Right, but this is what you love. This is what you loved about this man that he's into his music. You loved his creativity, and now why are you allowing that to be, you know, to to, yeah. to 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 break you apart? So it's 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 important, and like the same thing we said about the group, constant communication, and like when I get home, I I want to take over. I'm taking the kids to school. I'm uh, oh, I'm 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 the one that's gonna everything I could possibly do. do. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking over that. Right. You just rest up. You just rest up. You know that type of thing. So it's 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 just I cannot overemphasize how important it is for um, your spouse to love what you do. That's key. Wow. Yeah, that's key. That's key. Yeah, yeah, man. That's 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 wise words right there, man. No. Really. Because I think a part of uh, us three hesitating, actually getting any bigger than we already are, you know, uh, and being not only an online thing is, you know, we have these kind of lives where we have wives and children, you know, like, it's impossible. There's no way I can start talking to my wife about, hey, we... <laughs> I gotta quit my job, get on the road, and do this thing, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just not gonna be a, a conversation that will go well initially, you know. So it, I don't it know. stays and, a dream. It stays a dream. Right. I think it's fine as long as I'm doing it in my little office here in my studio, you know. And you know what? Yeah. Well, for me, for, that's, that's for great, me, it's, it's always been. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, for me, it's literally whatever I will do in my life will never ever come close to the dream because to me, for me, the dream has always been to sing. It feels like, you know, if you're a star, you're not shining, you're always dim. And no matter what you do to survive and we do whatever we gotta do, no matter what it is, get a great job, right? Best office in town. There's always that light that is always gonna stay dim until, so, you know, for me, it'll always be that thing. That's the go get it. So uh, no matter what it is, whether it's going to be online or wherever it's going to end up, I'll, I'll, you know, the end point is going to be that. Yeah. Whatever that would be. Well, whatever, whatever time you have to put into it, right. and the, and where the three of you agree, that's what's beautiful, right? Yeah. That where you agree that this is the time we're going, and because that was what was always frustrating for me with rehearsals and everything else was why why can't these other dudes why can't they just take it seriously uh, we say, yes. we, say we, we say we're gonna meet at eight o'clock how are you gonna forget we rehearsing and how are you gonna you know I've been through all the people that and because they didn't they didn't want it like how you want it or they've not they don't have the interest yeah. that you have so it's important no matter what the group uh desires to do that it's just an agreement that we're going to do this online 
We're yeah. gonna, um, our goal is to, to do as much as we can in this particular right. space. Yeah. Um, because if music is in you, uh, man, you can't kill it. Yeah, that's true. You know, yeah. you can't kill it. You gotta have an outlet. True. You gotta have an outlet, yeah. Yeah, that is true. So it's great it's that not, you, it's great that you guys are doing what you doing right. what you're doing. You know, it's not just therapy too. It's um, to me, it's it's one of that thing that has opened doors. I've met like so many people through music. You know, um, even the Bible does say that you know your talents will open doors and you'll meet great people. Here yeah. we are talking to Roger. Hey, uh, what's the what's the common what's the commonality? Music. You know, yeah. so it'll open doors, and it has done that. Yeah. in many ways that I could believe. So ha, no way would I ever put that in a pocket, no matter what level um, lifestyle class I'll be in. And I know these three gentlemen share the same thing. That's why we're here together. All right. right. And I met all three of you at different points in my life in music. So <laughs> I know. It's, bro, I, I met, I met Cedric. Part. It's funny because I, I think I met Cedric when I did the uh, a cover. What did I do? Was it a... A Quiet Place. I did quiet. It takes this quiet place. Wait, this is like what ten? How many years? Ten, eleven years yeah, ago. Plus years ago. And I never thought that we would come around and sing together ten years later, or however late later. Yeah. So music is a funny thing. And at that it's time, magic. you didn't even know that we already knew each other. You know. No, exactly. Though you and I were kicking it every day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah, but um, Roger, you you have been a great influence, um, and we I we we root for you and stuff, and hope that we literally long live Natural Two Seven, and we mean it by that. Not not just say not to say oh well you started it, uh, you're not going nowhere, and the world still hasn't heard the the full measure of of, of Natural Two Seven, and we're rooting rooting for you. That is why we always share, um, have you heard? Uh, so the word is still going out. Oh man, appreciate that, man. Appreciate that. We've been we've been working for the last 20 years for that for that overnight success. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have it, man. You live in a dream. You know, a dream that some of us dream off and you are doing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. and that's that that is something that um, I'm very, very appreciative of. The music industry does not always mostly reward people based on talent yeah it's wow. not reward people uh you know being in the right it's 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 important to be ready because you never know when that opportunity comes yeah. but there are some of the most talented people in the world with no outlet no success yeah no yeah, outlet. yeah. right True. and I, True. I i i say it that way no outlet meaning that they don't have what you have where you just like Okay, I've got this is where I want to, you know, get some ideas out. This is where I want to do this, whatever. Um, so, you know, I'm glad you guys are doing what you're doing what you're doing. I'm glad that we've uh, been an inspiration. And um, it's it's good to hear that. So that oh, you, you have, man. Yeah. You have. Uh, for me, man, I consider myself somebody who has seen uh National Seven progress from more humble beginnings, you know. Um, first, the Harmony Street Stakes, you know, that's not anything mainstream, but that's where I got to know you guys. Then the college, uh, the college circuit that you guys were, that's where we met face to face. Yeah. And he did that for a while. And then the next thing you were touring in Europe, I'm like, what? And, <laughs> and then Michael Buble, then your own TV shows doing ads and Quincy commercial. Jones. Right, Quincy Jones, and I'm like, yeah. this progression is insane. It's like it doesn't ever slow down, you know? It's it's been inspiring just to watch that from the sidelines. Just like, wow, people can actually dream and get it done, you know? Yeah. Amen. What's the song you guys did? Um the uh, Herbie Hancock. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Genius. Camille. I was like, oh, I, was like oh, I, I know that tune. I know. <laughs> no, you did it. <laughs> oh, man, that song. Um, I was Let me tell you something. That was one of the most, that was a memory I will never forget. We did that for the first time 
uh, on the BET. Um, Be the honors. The honors. The honors. But yeah. Herbie was in the front row. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. I saw that. I saw that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. It was beautiful to see. Think about it. When, when you're, you're one of your goals, you know, being an acapella group is to have people go like this. Yeah, you know, yeah. So yeah. to see him doing that was is same thing with the uh, with Quincy when we first did Wall of Sound for him. You know, after that he came up behind us and was like, "Where the heck have y'all been? <laughs> <laughs> All my life, where y'all been?" You know, so it, it's it's uh, those are those are really 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 nice moments. Really nice, you know. Wow. By the way, that herb that that Herbie Hanger that's. Uh, that's uh, Kevin Dean. Kevin Dean arranged that. Uh, so big up to Kevin Dean. That's a uh, uh, he's been very very instrumental in uh, in the vocal play. For those of you that read credits, and you'll see that uh, he's he's been involved in Naturally Seven from our. He's been involved from the last Appeal days. Wow. You know, he, wow. he goes wow. back. He goes back. Uh, some of the people don't. We were in in last Appeal. We were signed. Uh, to Epic, uh, Sony, uh, and then wow. Capital, and Capital, and none of those uh, none of those projects ever came out. I know, said you were asking me like, did we ever have any material? We did. We did at least three albums worth of material as Last Appeal, and none of it ever saw the light of day. Wow. Like, uh, Wow. You guys and are familiar with uh, Mark Dwyer, right? In Last Appeal. Right, right. Mark Dwyer yeah. and uh, David Glover, who are uh, yeah. Seventh Element. Yes, those exactly. Did, yeah. Those two sang with us back in our Last Appeal days. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So it's good to but see everybody. Where can we find material for Last Appeal, Thank man? You. Huh? Where can we find material for Last Appeal? Like, uh... no one can find it. That's the that's 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 <laughs> what I'm saying. We even as a group can't find it. Like. If I'm calling one, like, yo, did, did you ever keep that song? Or did it, you know, because formats have changed, Kevin Dean was was our producer even then. Yeah. And right. some of that stuff was on ADATs and 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 all sorts so of long. you know, it's gone, man. It's gone. Oh, man. Um the oh, only songs right that down. came from there are some songs that came from Naturally Seven, came from our last appeal days, um, that came from the non on the nonfiction album. At least about four or five of those were from our last appeal days. Okay. And okay. every now and then I've gone back into you know the uh, vault, looking back for something I you know did we did in the past. Um, but even then, we always was trying to be you know what can we find that's new under the sun. So that's the reason I told you that story of like you yeah. know we always yeah. like how could we be be ourselves and um, seven becoming naturally seven and now doing it for the last. Uh, 20 years, man, time flies. Time flies, man. Time Speaking flies. of time flying, it's been good just having this moment with you guys. It's been amazing. Yes. Uh, it's On been... this last day of the year. Right. Oh man, what a what right. a great what a great gift. It's been a horrible new year, new year beginning. Man, but it's ending on a high note, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've been instead of saying happy new year to everybody, I've just been saying better new year. Better new Let's year. have a better new year, huh? Better, yeah. better, better, better version of ourselves, vocally, spiritually, and all. Hey, yeah. Indeed, yeah. indeed, indeed. Right. Guys, uh, keep cool. doing, keep, keep doing your thing. Stay, you know, I'm, 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 I'm just a, I'm just a text away. And um, um, any, 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 anything you want to know about anything, anything yeah. you want to talk about, I'm here, man. I'm right. here. We appreciate it. Yeah, we. Appreciate all right. Thank Crazy you so much, bro. It. We don't take your time for granted, and uh, we no, we don't. Doing this, thank you so much. It means a lot to us. All right, and uh, don't, don't forget, you guys in 2021 you need to up that dedication a bit. All right, up that dedication. <laughs> you got, you got my word on that, man. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> no catch doubt. Y'all got to catch up the sense. Man, don't, don't worry. Yes. Don't <laughs> you worry. In you fact, if in fact, hold on, check this out. Before I go. If I, I'm going to ask Seth a question. This is to see if he passed this test. Ah! All right. Failed. All right, check this out. Here you go, Seth. What you got? We have recorded Bridge Over Trouble Waters three times. Mm -hmm. On what albums? Nonfiction. Nonfiction. I know nonfiction. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, on. Uh, Nonfiction, Wall of Sound, and Both Sides Now. Boom! 
<laughs> Come on, man. That man's that man's got he's dedicated. I know, I know. Come he, on, man. Yeah, he, he, he surpassed me, man. I know he, he's, Come on. he's dedicated. Do man. your thing, sexy. Yeah. I'm rooting for you, man. You're making us all, all right, look all right. good. I'm See, I has one more, one more. Okay. Where's this from? Oh wait. Oh can wait. You, can you feel it? Can, can see you see that? He's got his hand on the buzzer. Boom. I brought that one up because uh, where we got that from, which was Houdini. Uh -huh. uh, oh, okay. Ecstasy had uh, died this past week. Uh -huh. This past week. And that was where we were We were inspired to put that in the arrangement. Dun, 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 dun. dun. We got that from uh, uh, a, a song called Funky Beat. So cool, cool, oh, wow. cool, cool. See? He knows Sad. his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> he knows his stuff, man. I, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm not even gonna lie. He knows his stuff. Yeah. He knows it. He knows it. But good tone. Good seeing you. It's been a pleasure, and, bro. And uh, Trey, good seeing you yes, again. Sir. And uh, let's, uh, let's, let's stay connected. So definitely, without Thanks a doubt. All right, man. without a doubt. All right, man. You yes, guys sir. Take care. Take care. All right. All right.